Hi everyone, it's Miss Yule. In this video, we will be able to write fractions with denominators of 10 or 100 as decimals. So starting out, we have the fraction 1 tenth. And this is said as 1 tenth. We have 1 in the numerator and a 10 in the denominator. So 1 tenth, 1 over 10. And the second one, we have one hundredth, one hundredth. One is in the numerator and one hundred is in the denominator. What we're gonna do in this video is use what we know about place value in decimal numbers to write these kinds of fractions with these denominators of 10 and 100 as decimals. So let's look at a place value chart. On the left side of a place value chart are the whole numbers. Sorry. And then there's a decimal point, which we usually just say point, like 5.2, we say a point. And then we have the decimal fractions on the right. Um, yeah, on the right. So those are the decimal numbers. So the whole numbers are the thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones. The decimal numbers are read as tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths. So there's that kind of THS at the end. All right, let's look at the first one. Here we have one tenth. There's a one and then a 10. So I have one tenth. So when we have our place value chart, I can see I have one in the tenths place, one tenth. Then we can put a placeholder zero in the ones place so that this number is easier to read. It's a lot easier to read 0 0.1 than it is to kind of pick out 0.1. It's a good habit to write a zero before. 0 0.1, 1 tenth. All right, and who is that little guy? Hello. All right, next we have 9 over 10. This is read as 9 tenths. So how can we write this as a decimal? Well, we have 9 tenths, so we put a 9 in the tenths place, and again, use that placeholder 0 to make the number easier to read. 0 0.9, 9 tenths. All right, how would we write 8 over 10 as a decimal? So this is 8 tenths, and I don't have my chart here, but recognizing the pattern from before, I had my 0 0.8. This is the tenths place. So 0 0.8, 8 tenths. Now we have 1 hundredth. So I'm going to look at my place values. I have the tenths and then the hundredths. So we're moving to the hundredths place where I have 1. And then we're going to put zeros in the tenths and the ones place to, place, uh, to hold the place, place value holders. So this is read as 0 0.01, some people will say it like that, but it's really good to say 1 hundredth, <laughs> 1 hundredth, 0 0.01, 1 hundredth. The next one, 17 hundredths, 17 over 100, 100. So I have my 110, because the number 17 is composed of a 10 and a 7, so I have my 110 and then my 17, I mean my 7, <laughs> so 17 hundredths and that place value of 0. So this is read as 0 0.17 or 17 hundredths. So it's always by the last decimal place. Um, how could we write 56 hundredths? 56 hundredths. So it's always a good practice to put your zero first, zero point, and then hundredths is two numbers after the decimal, so 56, 56 hundredths. 